This is what a dimensional system might look like. An ocean stands for the big five personality factors. And you would just have something that looks like an MMPI kind of thing. You would have this. This is, they talked a lot about going to a dimensional system. And in the end, and I mean at the very, very end, not November, but December, they scrapped it. And they went to the system that they currently have. And do I talk about that or do you? Go ahead. Okay. So there was real questions about were they going to simply erase all the personality disorders and not have them at all? And that was a discussion for a long time. Or they, were they going to recluster them rather than the way they are now, A, B, and C? Or were they going to just redefine them? And the first thing they did was they redefined a personality. So if you think about this, this is different than the other disorders. What is a personality? It's hard to reify it as a thing. And then just not only say it's a thing, but to then say it's disordered. So the definition went from a pervasive pattern of thinking and behaving and emotion, and now reflects adaptive failure involving impaired sense of self or self-identity and a failure to develop effective interpersonal functioning. So the definition of what is a personality has shifted. All right, we don't get to talk about the way it almost was. We talk about that with some longing because there were some good ideas there. What did they do? They eliminated the clusters. So there are no more the A, B, C clusters. They note that most personality disorders are correlated with depression, anxiety, sleep difficulties, or eating disorders. And in general, those are the reasons that people come to therapy. I don't know if you've ever had someone come in and say, I have a personality disorder, <laughs> and that's why I'm here. They come because something hurts, something is a problem. Most of them are ego syntonic with the exception of the borderline personality disorder, the people with borderline personality disorder tend to be very dysthymic, depressed, anxious. They tend to have a number of emotional regulation issues, and that's often what brings them into therapy. And it's not so egosyntonic the way the other disorders are. They have eliminated five different of personality disorders. The paranoid personality disorder, schizotypal, which as we saw was moved to the schizophrenia chapter, schizoid, which was also moved to that chapter. Histrionic is gone and dependent personality is gone. So what did they retain? Antisocial, now renamed dissocial personality disorder. They have put in new criteria for children and adolescents. They have taken off that gatekeeping of 18 or over. How scary is that? They kept narcissistic personality disorder, borderline, avoidant, and OC personality disorder. But in addition, there's now going to be ways that you can note personality disorder traits. And this is subclinical. These are traits that don't meet the full criteria for personality disorder. And you can put personality disorder CNEC for six months, but you can't give personality disorder for 12 months of direct observation of dysfunction in functioning in those different realms that I mentioned earlier. So in order to give a diagnosis of a personality disorder, you have to document your observation over a 12-month period in the core areas of functioning, self, interpersonal, empathy, and intimacy. You have to personally observe the, those traits. And all of them have to have a recognized overall severity level of three over 12-month period. So we can't, in, if we do an assessment, we can't give a personality You cannot give a personality disorder after a single assessment. No. Or even after four sessions or four months. In other words, it is now going to be exceedingly difficult to give personality disorder diagnoses.